In this video, I'd like to show you how to test a serial mediation model, a model with multiple mediation in a series like this. Uh, here we have two independent variables, one dependent variable and two mediation, but uh, the effect of the effect of the independent variables first go to trust and then through trust go to attitude and then go to intention. It means trust and attitude serially mediate the impact of output quality and subjective norms on intention. So uh, we already know how to test a mediation effect using bootstrapping approach. Um, let me show you the results, what we get if we test this model. So uh, um, I'm using the latent variable scores um, that I already computed in my previous video. So um, I go to analysis properties here. As you can see, I have set the uh, perform bootstrap it to put bootstrap to 2000 uh, samples and here 95% confidence interval. And in output, make sure you have selected indirect, direct, and total effects and standardized estimates. So uh, I just close. And now, um, so I run the model. Okay, I got the results. Now let's check the indirect effects. We already know we need how to test the mediation, but for uh, I want to show you about the indirect something interesting about the indirect effect. So, uh, what is the total effect here? The total effect is what we call it total effect in this model is the um, it's the relationship between the independent variables and the dependent variable, the total effect, including everything. In other words, if we didn't have any mediator, uh, then what will be the effect of in these two on intention? And you can get it here, like previously what I showed you, right? And here you open the bootstrapping result. So in matrices, you just click on total effects, it's, on, it's under estimates. So you go to total effects and then you get this um, box here. And Estimates shows you the path coefficients and the last one here, if you open all these boxes here, you get the p-value. So this is the total. So let's say, for example, for the total effect between output quality and intention, we are in the total effect. This is unstandardized. This is standardized. Let's say unstandardized. And here is the p-value. So intention, subjective norms and output quality. Subjective norms and output quality to intention. Intention, these two. So they are significant. This means the total effect is significant. Now we want to test whether these two mediate the impact of output quality and subjective norms on intention. So we already know how to test. We go to the indirect effects, right? Indirect effects. This is on standardized. And then we read the parameters here. We read the path coefficients. So the path coefficient for output quality to intention is reported for the indirect effect output quality to intention is 0 0.222 triple two and it is significant so you click on p value you get the uh, p yeah two tails significant you get the p value so it's significant what about the subjective norm subjective norms to intention through um, all these indirect effects is not significant right because the p value is greater than 0 0.05 but what you see here is the total indirect effects. Here is the total indirect effects. It means when we say output quality to intention, we have several indirect effects. Let's, let me show you. One is from output quality go to trust, then go to intention. This is one indirect effect here. Another one is output quality to attitude to intention. So there is another indirect effect from output quality goes to attitude to intention. There is another indirect effect as well from output quality to trust to attitude to intention so there are three different independent uh, sorry indirect effects there are three different indirect effects from output quality to intention the same is for subjective norms subjective norms to trust to intention one subjective norms to attitude to intention number two subjective norms to trust to attitude to intention number three so the results as you can see here when you go for indirect effect p-value there is only one p-value reported from subjective norms to intention. And this p-value is the testing the relation, the all indirect effect together. So these three all together. 
right? But do we want to test this? I don't know, maybe your hypothesis is the total indirect effect in this model, but in many studies, we are interested in testing specific indirect effect as well, but AMOS doesn't give you the specific indirect effect by default. So what to do? Let me show you another one, uh, something um, about this one. Attitude, okay, subjective norms to attitude. You see subjective norms to attitude. There is a direct effect here, directly connected these two, but there is an indirect effect as well. From subjective norms, go to trust, go to attitude. Do you see any other indirect relationship between subjective norms and attitude? I don't see. Only one, true trust. One indirect relationship and one direct relationship. So for indirect effect, the indirect effect between subjective norms and attitude, this is okay, it's only showing this path, this indirect path. But for those with serial mediation, means two are between the IV and DV, there are multiple indirect effects. In this case, we have two serial mediation mediators. This means there are three indirect paths. So which one we want to test? Don't worry, there is a method I want to show you here. What you can do is you name the path that you are interested in to test. No need to name all of them. Let's say I'm interested in just some of Let's say I'm interested in output quality to uh, the, the indirect effects for output quality. The specifically only, I mean, the, specific, the three indirect effects separately, right? So what I do is I name all paths that I'm interested in. So what to do? You can double click on the path or you can here right click on the path and click on objective properties. But I'm more comfortable with double click. So regression weight, name it, name whatever you want. I name it A1. Then no need to close the window. Let's click on the next path. Make sure you it's highlighted in red when you are clicking. Otherwise, you are selecting something else. So this one, I name it A2. This one, I name it A3. Up to you what you want to name it. Uh, let's say in this video, I just want to test maybe just these relationships, right? You can name all that you are interested in. So I close, or maybe let me just to make it more interesting. I click here, subjective norms to trust, I name it B1. Again, the names, up to you what name you want to give. Uh, let's keep it like this. So I close up to your what hypothesis you have. Depends on hypothesis that you have. Now, there is, you see here in, at the corner, not estimating any user defined estimate. So we want to define a new estimate. What is the estimate? The code, the query that we will give to the software to compute those specific indirect effects. So I click here, I get a menu, just left click. So define new estimates. I click, then you get this window. So now you can write the code that you want, the indirect effect that you want to the code the, for testing the indirect relationship. Suppose I want to test the indirect effect between, let's say, output quality and attitude through trust. So I name this indirect effect 1 equals A1 multiplied by A2. Now I just write a heading here. So when you want to write a heading, just you see there is a, I forgot what is the name. Um, yeah, anyway. So, uh, <laughs> Um, here you write, I write, let's say, output quality to trust to attitude. Then enter. The next that I want to test, let's say, is output quality to trust, to attitude, to intention. Suppose now I want to test uh, the, the relationship between output quality and intention through these two mediators. So what are the between these two? I name it int to anything, any name you want to, you can give. A1 multiplied by A2 multiplied by A3. So it means this path from output quality to trust, from trust to attitude, from attitude to intention, right? And here I just, let's see, let's assume I want to test the relationship between output quite, no, no, uh, subjective norms to 
to um, trust to attitude to intention okay i name it indirect three and so it's b1 the third this one right b1 multiply by a2 multiply by a3 right so it's this path here to here here and here so um, you name those that you want to use right here i assume i want to test only these specific indirect effects of course you may test more so um, yeah go for it now file and check syntax so it depends on the version of amos you have for some of the versions there is a button here to check uh, here anyway you need to check the syntax to make sure there is no error and here is okay the syntax is okay the machine understand it understands it so we can run it so what i do is i just save i name it indirect path let's say or indirect relationship whatever you want and workshop i like this name and save it okay i close now you see here now estimate indirect path workshops so now we are using this esti estimate to estimate to compute the uh, indirect relationships initially there was no estimate here but now there is we loaded one and now we just run we already actually as you already know of analysis properties we have selected these and this is the same thing so bootstrapping is important so make sure you have selected the bootstrapping part i close and i run and the data has been linked already so i assume you already know all these things right you have linked the data file the data file and you have selected all these options so bootstrapping and here i usually go for these for uh, testing sem and now run Okay, excellent. I got the red arrow button. Now I click on view text. Okay, um, everything is the same. Um, you see, I mean, those that you already had still are there. So when you open, you see all regression weights, standard regression weights, matrices. All that you already had are here, but something has been added. User defined estimates. So I click here, and these are the three relationships that I wanted to compute, but let's get more information. So what I do is here, you see the bootstrapping results. I just open it, open it, and I click on two tail means p-value. So I click here, user defined estimates, and then open the bootstrapping results and here p-value. So this is the results of the p of the indirect effects that you want, right? So for an indirect one was the relationship between output quality to attitude through trust. So uh, this is the unstandardized values. So this is the uncertainty is positive. P-value is less than 0.05 and you got the lower and upper bound. You already know that if zero falls in this range, this means the results is not significant. The path coefficient is not significantly different from zero. Means we usually we don't want uh, zero falls in this range. So as zero is not in this range, this means P-value is less than 0.05. This means this is significant. So this indirect effect from output quality to attitude True trust is significant. Another one. This one, you remember, was the indirect effect between output quality to intention through trust and attitude. So serial mediation. Uh, this is the path coefficient on a standardized positive and p-value is less than 0.05. This means output quality, the effect of output quality on intention through trust and attitude through this specific path, not all indirect effects, only this path is significant. And in many studies, this is your hypothesis. These specific indirect effect, you want to test it. And it is significant. The last one was subjective norms to trust, to attitude, to intention. Only these specific path, not all the three indirect path between subjective norms and intention. And it is not significant. So this is not significant. So you, we couldn't support this hypothesis. So this is the way you can use the estimate to to compute specific indirect effects and you can in, com in very complex um, complicated model big models you can label you know those paths that you want and compute any i mean test any indirect effect that you want